by request there, old Katy Perry. Last Friday night, the Yankee and the Britney RTM Radio Network. What the hell's going on, everybody? It's a Friday rock and roll night, man. Oh, 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 oh. Good night, Mike. Mike. You're listening to Randy Manuel. Yeah, you are. Quit interrupting me, damn it. How's everybody? It's Mr. and Mrs. Bradley on the radio. How is everybody Yay. tonight? Nice to Friday see you here. Friday night, we're going to rock out with our The time now is 7.18. Out. Interrupting my fucking radio voice already. Sir, we ain't been on here for a fucking minute sir, yet. Call that radio I'm voice. I'm coming over there. You call that a radio voice. Shut Anyway, guys, I have a little piece of paper. It's pretty blank at the moment, but give me some cool requests for tomorrow's country Saturday night. I am getting bored stiff of the same tunes on this show every week. Even Dave's drunk on a plane tune. So give me some ideas for some cool tunes, and Randy will get them ready for you. Which Wait, I've Randy. asked Dave twice now why Samo paid 54 cents for a friggin' drunk on the plane thing when you can get it for nothing. I was just curious about that. So I've asked him twice. That's the third time. I'm not asking again. Now give me an answer, damn it. Give me now. All right. So how's everybody? Hi, Mrs. Dave and Mr. Dave, of course, and Uncle Larry there, the head of the RTM Radio Chicken Holders. Chris Rutherford. Hi. What's going hey, on? Nice to see you hanging out with us for a little while. Smurfette hanging out. Tuck that in, girl. Let's see. What else we got here? Uh, Darren, of course, and Mr. Joe. Funny Joe. Joe, you're cracking me up with some of that shit you've been posting. Not quite right in the noggin. No, he ain't. And the big G, Lee Godfrey. Hello, Mr. G. I see he's GQ tonight. Darren, the Daves, Larry. Where is Larry? I thought I saw him a He's here. I said hello to him. I said hello to everybody so far. If you just listen and pay attention. So, Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl's there as well. The trucking queen of New Orleans. Perfect. What's going on over there? So I guess so, that pretty much covers everybody for now. And all you outsiders tonight, I welcome. Hope we got some good rock for you. So we need some predictions in the chat room as well. How many stars do you think Larry is going to give us tonight for our piss poor performance on the RTM Radio hell Network? Hell if I know. And I did scroll back, Dave, and I didn't see any reference to 54 cents. So He did. Why do you think I asked you? Well, I didn't see it. So there you go. And I'm not going to spend all night just answering a damn question again. Sheesh. So anyways, uh, we're here to do some rock. Got some good rock. Uh, yeah, if you've got some new country tunes, man, you want to hear, let us know. I mean, of course, there's always going to be Bill Weaver and Joey Holiday and Corn Knob and uh, Lance. Of course, we ain't going to do without those. But we need some new stuff, too, you know. And even if they're old, new stuff. Some new trucking tunes. I mean, I've, I've looked for all kinds of trucking tunes. I'm running out of finding them. Oh, Dave, I was only pretending to read it. And I know there's got to be more. I ain't never going to that beach again. <laughs> I about lost it when I saw that. He did. He lost it. Yeah, I haven't laughed like that in quite a while. That was funny. If you scroll back, you might see it before you ran on my ass. I'm ranting on your ass, mister. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing else to rant about today. So just, I know. Uh, just it's been a great day today. Everything went nice. Take it on the... Take and for all you cruisers that may be listening, uh, everybody should have their goodies by the end of next week. No questions asked. Well, probably by Monday, Tuesday, because it's all out there. There's it ain't going to be Monday, Tuesday. We can't send the rest of this out until Monday. About two or three things over there that's left I'm to go. I'm talking to myself again. A few couple of things left to go. And then we're free of the 2016 cruise shirts, apart from you guys that... Uh, that we're bringing down to the hotel. But we'll start advertising the Hawaii one because we got those ready a long time ago. No, Dave, I wasn't reading it. Oh, Darren says we are going to get five plus stars off Larry tonight. We For only what? got We only got two stars last week. <laughs> For what? We haven't even done anything yet. Well, we've... 22 minutes in, I'm sure we've earned our 18 stars by now. I see. Is that how it works? Yeah. And <laughs> there's no competition in here yet. No Bill Weaver yet. You know, no no bung holy -oly -o. So there's no competition. We should get all the stars for tonight. I think Bung Knob and uh, Shannon fell off the face of the earth. Yes, I think so too. So anyways, let's move along here. How about the Pretenders and Talk of the Town? From 1980 with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Nitwits over here doing our rock and roll thing on a Friday night. Hey, oh. 
Sutter on the loose with the Yankee and the Brit. Yes, the whole yard would be full of railroad. I'd stop everything I'm doing and I'd go work on that the rest of my days. That's exactly what I'd do. And then like uh, Dave or whoever it was, I'd take everybody on a cruise too because I think that would be cool as hell. Then I could actually go on one. Maybe just rent the ship and just sit there at dockside and just party. How's that sound? That wouldn't be too bad. Well, anyways... Then I'd go back into the sign business after I got sick of being rich. I wouldn't be rich very long. I'd spend it all, give it away. I wouldn't keep that shit. Too much money is nothing but a hassle and a headache and a pain in the ass. Besides, if you won the whole thing, how much do they take of that in taxes? You ain't going to get half of that back. So, you know, don't get too excited. You might win $7 billion, but you're only going to get like 7000 when they're done. Samo was over there singing to himself, Michel Marbel. I'd hate to be rich. I'd hate to win the lottery. Um, I've had some of my best times being skint. I mean, of course, I'd love to be a bit more comfortable with money, of course. Uh, just like anybody, but I wouldn't want a lot of money. No, I wouldn't either. I, You know, I've had money come and go in my life, and every time I've had money, things have gone to hell in a handbasket. When I'm broke, I'm to, happy. I've had some of my best times when I've had to dip to the bottom of me change tin for a bloody loaf of bread. I'm serious. Oh, I my bet. God. When I lived over in Gunner, Jesus Christ. And especially after Janine and I first moved here, it's friggin' broke, man. Everything in order just to survive, you know. And uh, thank God just things were meant to be. They came together. I got work. She got a job, blah, blah, blah. But, man, I'll tell you what. We had what money we had and just said goodbye, Ohio, and came to Texas. And it's been a struggle, buddy. But we're here. Now you and I are here struggling. <laughs> I think I leave a trail of struggle everywhere I go. Yeah, but money, when you've not got no money, it makes you miserable. When I've not got money, well, no, the only no, thing... no, I'm not finished yet. Well, you are now. <laughs> I said, when I've not got no money yet, when I'm not, sorry, when I've not got no money, it doesn't really bother me, you know? Well, what I bothers just me is just on. not paying the bills. As long as they get yeah. paid, I don't care about anything else, you know? If there's a little less food or whatever, you know, that's fine, but it got to keep the roof over your you head. You would not move to Bells, Texas. I hope... Dave wins the lottery, and we win the lottery, so that when Dave moves to Bells, we can move far away. We can move to Ohio. <laughs> no! Hey. No, never, of course not. No, silly man, he would never move to Texas. He'd never leave Ohio. All you guys that are putting down money on this lottery, by the way, are just bumping it up for the next time. I'm happy, Larry. The bills are getting paid. That's the main thing, you know? You know, and I get to... Get a little extra cash once in a while for the train and and the things I like to do, fixing up the inside of the cabin here. You know, it's coming along very slowly, but other than that, I would have the biggest shed in bed. <laughs> That's because you're a shed head. head. Friggin' shed head. <laughs> really? You'd leave Ohio? Man, I can't imagine that. You spent your whole life there. Of course, I don't know. Who am I to talk? You know, I, I left at, uh, how old was I when I left? 50? I think, 49, 50, something like that when I left. I didn't have a problem leaving it. There was nothing there, though, especially, you know, Ashtabula County is one of the most depressed counties in the state. It's in the northeast corner, the last one up there before you hit Pennsylvania or run into the lake, and there's nothing, no jobs, no money. I mean, the sign business was always pretty good. People need signs, but other than that, nah, there was nothing there to stay for. And then after Mom and Dad moved to, there's nothing to go back to. You know, I could always go home if I ever needed to. Now, that's not the case. It was time to grow up and be a big boy and fend he, for myself. And he, when they're gone, what the hell said, am I going to do? He says, while he's living on his mum and dad's land. I know. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know. I was just going to say, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have jack squat, you know. I've been all over the country and lived in different places, Nashville and, and Kentucky and all that. And, you know, they could always run back home. Well, when they pass away, man, that's it. It's me and my brother. I stand alone then. Because we ain't the closest. Love the boy, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's creepy. The older you get, the creepier it gets. And, of course, the country doesn't have much to offer anymore. So, you know, and I'm just too proud to friggin' oh, apply for welfare. you just wait. The country will have loads to offer. The city will be moving into the country more and more. And you'll be like, oh, the country. Is well, then I'm going to have to move offer. further away. And then where am I going to live? Of course, I could load this on a truck and take it with me if it's paid off by then. 
Unless we get nuked or ISIS takes us out. One or the other. I feel rich now. Money would just mess all that up. I agree. It would. Money really is a friggin' nightmare. It's the root you know? And you don't know that until you have a lot of it. That's the thing. You know, I remember a time I could buy a brand new pickup truck, clothes and anything I wanted, and then it all went to hell, and then it all came back and went to hell and all came back and it's all gone again and Donna and I are here trying to build up a business and yeah, get comfortable and that's it's all what, right. Uh, that's what sucks right now is the fact that, uh, you know, with whatever's going on with me at the moment, which I'm not saying too much in here, but, you know, we're a bit of, we're a, bit of a slave to money at the moment and... Uh, and I, I oh and I hate that I, more than anything yeah I hate that I'd rather just uh, live comfortable you know be happy do what we're doing be but, happy don't worry or don't worry be happy you know there's a lot hanging over us right now and we need to be piling <laughs> the pennies in basically uh, see Joe I'd already thought about that and I got a friend over there in uh, West End uh, he's right there just in Maryland on the West Virginia Maryland border over there and uh, he's asked me a million times, come on up there, we'll put up a cabin, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, that's great. But, uh, you know, I've, I've wanted to go back to West Virginia one time, but man, it friggin' snows there. So I don't. All the relatives are there, the ones that are left from mom's side. They're all there. You know, but what the hell would I live in? If I've got a holler to hide in, great. What am I supposed to do, sleep in a cave? Not exactly the warmest place to sleep at night. Especially when it's a blizzard outside. And money, I don't think money brings out the best in people as well, you know. Um, Advertise away, Cheryl. Go on. Oh, no, I'm just looking at the chat. Smurfette I know, you says, can't do two things at once. I know, once. it's because I'm doing, I'm peeling these little things for the... Uh, and thank you so shirts. much for getting those done. You're such a honey. Yeah, uh, I'm tinkering over here on some shirt stuff. Um, Smurfette says, I just want a truck and trailer paid off. And then we would enjoy things and not have to squeeze and rush a lot. So what does she mean by a truck? You mean like she's got like a truck as well as a lorry? Or does she mean like the, the trailer? The truck and trailer. Does she mean like it's the... It's a lorry. Tractor the, and trailer. The, oh, the lorry on the... Connects to the... Right. All right. I got you. I didn't know whether she had like a truck like yours as well as the oh, lorry. Oh, the trailer? Yeah. Oh, maybe. But I would assume it's a big truck. Ah. Okay. And you know what those look I'm like, right? We went to the truck show. You remember what big trucks look like? Tractor, trailer, <laughs> truck and trailer. Red, yellow, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> All that. <laughs> oh, boy. And, uh, oh, that was Angel said that. Well, I should know that. Cheryl's driving. That's right. Jamming out with your salmon out. <laughs> I'm going to have to make him a shirt like that. <laughs> He's going to have a fit when he sees that one. Who, hey, Howard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's what he wants, something similar on there. I've got to check with, double check with him the uh, the wording on what he wants on it. How the fuck? <laughs> Stab yourself with a knife, why don't you, Donna? What'd you do, put a new blade in? I went to pick that up. Did you put a new blade yeah, in there? Yeah, there's a new blade there in there. There you go, went, man. I went to stab that and it just went right through it. Drop right it on the floor, finger. break the tip off, and it won't be so bad. <laughs> that's how I broke the other one. I was walking around and the thing just flicked off the table and went dong. You look it wasn't your foot it fell in. I know. I've done that so many times. In your foot? <laughs> no, in the floor. Oh, I meant your Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I know. If any of you guys could uh, see what we're going on about over here. Hmm. So, like I was saying, Samo was, uh, Samo fell off the lorry. Rut row. You don't spell lorry like that, Samo. <laughs> lorry. L-O-R-R-Y. <laughs> Donna will get you for your bad British spelling. I will. Keep trying to teach Randy all these uh, different... Uh, oh, it's Lee things. jamming with his salmon out. Ah. Well, I'm going to make one of those for Howard. Yes. Put a big old salmon hanging out of his drawers down there. <laughs> but write it down before you forget. <laughs> Who's going to forget that? <laughs> jamming out with your salmon out. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Well, anyways, uh, now, like I've been trying to say for the last... Uh, Fuck, I don't know how long. Samo was over there humming, uh, Michelle, my bell, blah, blah, blah. Samo and a ham, hum job. Uh, anyways, uh, Michelle, since Salmon mentioned it. Since, did I just say since Salmon mentioned let's send, it? Let's send <laughs> Sorry, this to, Samo. Let's send this to Howard, say so we're jumping out with our Salmon out. Why do Are we you have ready? to do that right now? Now! Oh, jeez. Go on, Benny. Hey, Howard! Hey, hey Howard! Howard! We're, we're jamming, jamming with our Salmon out! Salmon out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Play a song. 
for Michelle. Courtesy of Samo, in kind of a roundabout way. Autograph, Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network. This just into the RTM Radio Network newsroom. It's a report that a PTL truck has just burned to the ground. Praise the Lord. Or pay the Lord. Depends on what you, how you look at it, I suppose. Yeah, I hope the driver got out all right. That's crazy, man. Makes you wonder how that happens. I've seen a lot of them go up of, over brake fires, but other than that, I wonder what makes a truck burn up. Bad wiring? Sometimes it's just funny how you can just find them along the road toasted like that. And you always wonder what happened. I followed a couple uh, what, big R trucks one time. Uh, two of them running together, and both of them had the brakes friggin' smoking on them. And uh, luckily, my big truck was capable of getting up beside them comfortably and uh, waving them down and telling them, you know, why don't you look in your mirror once in a while? You might see the smoke boiling out the back. And uh, they both stopped, and I went happily on my way. But uh, who knows? Maybe I saved the life. Maybe I saved their truck. God only knows. But... Uh, I know they didn't burn up when I last went over the next hill and saw them in the mirrors. Of course, sometimes the best place to see another truck is in the mirrors. I know that was the best place to see Ohio. It was in the rearview mirror, buddy. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Live from the Roadway Inn, February 5th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Good night and great savings. The Truckers Gone Wild 2016 Pre-Cruise Party presents... presents Yankee and the Brit. Razor Blade Express. Samo Radio. Live at 7 o'clock Eastern and 6 o'clock Central Time. So join us at 2440 West State Road 84, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Yankee and the Brit. Samo Radio. The Razor Blade Express. All live on RTM Radio. Samo Radio. The Razor Blade Express. South Net 1 and QH3. Quack, quack. See you there February 5th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Hi, this is Random Man. And I'm Donna. We're here for SS Cruises, and we want to let you know that they're proud to present the Lizard Lick Towing and Recovery Cruise with Ron Shirley, Amy Shirley, and Juicy on the all-new Carnival Vista. Join them as they sail from Miami, Florida for this six-day cruise where they'll visit the beautiful ports of call of Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel. Cruise from one sunny tropical isle to another in the glittering turquoise seas of the Western Caribbean. A carnival cruise offers idyllic days of swimming, snorkeling, and strolling pearly white sand beaches and romantic nights beneath the twinkle of the clear starry skies. Explore many wonderful ports of call on your Western Caribbean cruise. You'll enjoy a two-hour private cocktail and meet and greet with Ron and Amy Shirley, and you'll also enjoy a separate one-hour private cocktail party and meet and greet with Juicy. During these two private parties, all cocktails will be provided by SS Cruises. Let's Let's get get licked! Reserve a cabin now until January the 3rd, 2016 for only $100 per person. This is a non-refundable reservation. This is only a reservation and a full deposit of $300 per person will be required to get a cabin assignment and a booking number. The deposit to confirm your cabin number is $300 non-refundable per person and would be due by October 20th, 2016. Prices are per person and are based on double occupancy. Prices include $72 per person, prepaid staff gratuities, port fees, taxes, food, and access to all private parties and meet and greets. Optional travel insurance is available and highly recommended. Full payments will be due on or before the 27th of December 2016. Payment plan are available feel free to ask for details this is a private group booking and to attend all parties and meet and greets this booking must be made with ss cruises call 937-331-8029 or feel free to email us at sscruises at yahoo.com we We hope hope to see see you on board rock out with your cock out i think we should go out there and fuck all the people we never fuck let's just rock out with our cocks out the yankee and the brit show what if i don't want to rock out with my cock out on rtm radio 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 By request for Cheryl, trucking it down the old highway on a Friday night with a Yankee and a Brit, rocking and rolling along. It's the RTM Radio Network! How? Something in your what? Yankee and a Brit, the RTM Radio Network. There's another one to keep you strolling along there, Cheryl. Put the hammer down, baby.
Are you on Speedwagon riding the storm out? What a kick-ass tune that is. Hi, wife. Hey. What's up, baby? Hey, gorgeous. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? I'm I just cooking, cooking something up for me. me. Maybe Howard Salmon's going to join us tomorrow night and play us a song. Wouldn't that be cool? He better. He'll be jamming with his salmon out. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, flippy floppy thing over there. So, anyways, uh, what's going on? You better not be flippy floppy on the RTM radio Ruh -ruh. network. Rock and Roll Friday with the Yankee and the Brit over here just doing the jamming thing. Uh, you guys just chatting along there, having yourself some fun and jamming. Let's see, what's this? Uh, just think, Randy and Don, exactly four weeks from now, you'll be spending the night with all of us chatters. <whistles> well, I'm going to be spending the night with her, but I'm going to hang out with you guys for a while. <laughs> But again, this this is really getting to be a... Yes? I'm not sure if I like this or not, but this is going to be the second cruise we get to watch these guys sail away from us. I know. One of these days we got to like go with them. Dormant. I know. Hopefully in a few more years we can actually go with you. Let's do it now. It's really uh, starting to wear thin on me. You know, it's like twice <laughs> now we're going to get to watch you guys leave. <sighs> well, we're just never... we just come by to see you off, and then we go home. What the hell? Well, you never know. You know, we might be uh, we might be like, oh, thank fuck, they've gone. <laughs> <laughs> thank God we're going home, and they're going the other way. <laughs> well, you know, last time uh, we when when we was on our way to New Orleans, it was gorgeous. You know, the weather was gorgeous. Do you remember we come back to a storm? We come back to snow. We come back to floods, <laughs> and it never. Stopped since we got That's home. what worries me about this time. We'll go to yeah. sunny Florida. Beautiful people, beautiful times. And we'll come back and it'll be friggin' snowing. Because it's about due for snow here directly. So, uh, you know, it's coming up to our winter, actually. I can't believe it's been this friggin' warm. It was 60 today. It better not be snowing. 60 yesterday. It's going to be cold the next few days, but nothing drastic. Uh, in the 20s at night, but in the 40s during the day. So, uh, not too bad. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Well, we got the work hard part down. Now all we got to do is figure out how to play hard. Of course, I like working on my train, really. I could just, like, stay home and spend all my spare time out there. But, you know, you got to work hard to have the money to play hard. So, you know, what the hell? That's kind of the way it is. Hey, Gary, what's going on? Doing all right over there? Way up north in the woodland of Scotland, don't you know? All right, Mr. Kinlock Burvey. Uh, let's see. Is it snowing up there, Gary? Getting cold and chilly? When is winter time up that way? Same time as us? Or is it like all the time in Scotland? Let's just say they never get a suntan over there. Gary, have a right on this? What's that? I said you never get a suntan in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I know the buildings don't. Well, They're all freaking gray. I know. can't believe that. That's like uh, weird how dark everything is around there. You know, when the sun comes out, the buildings still look dark. Yes. You know? But you've been up there a lot of times, right? Yes. Very exactly. pretty, right? Yes. I mean, you gorgeous. haven't been up there as far as where Gary lives. Uh, I don't know. Kinlock Burvey? That's, isn't there a Kinlock Burvey lock up there, I right? Mean, Did uh, we look that up? I don't know how high he is, though, compared to where I we, don't, sorry, we looked you up on. <laughs> we looked you up on Google Maps one time. I know you're way the hell up there. Wish I had your address. I could look right in your window. <laughs> see, see what's going on. Should I say, I don't know how high I was, and I don't know how high... He is. I've never seen you high yet. <laughs> but I've been to uh, I've been to Arbroath and Aberdeen. Um, I've been to uh, oh, where's that place I always used to go to? Um, da, la, 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 la. Oh my gosh, I just can't think of it. I need Thornton in Glenrothes. I used to go to Glenrothes quite a bit. There's a so. there's an idea from Larry. Go down, and stay at his place. We can go down there and stay till like uh, March, anyways. Boy, what a pain in the ass that would be. I'd have to load my whole place up and take it with me because all the shop's set up in there. I can't go down there and work and uh, not have my tools. Then I'd have to drag all my train stuff down there, set it all up for a couple months, tear it all down. No, we ain't doing that. I ain't leaving my train for nothing. One of these days, I'm actually going to get to ride in it and run it and drive it. But it's getting there. I get this building done. Then I can get it back inside where I can work on it, rain or shine. And uh, then I'll get the damn thing going. I mean, it runs and all that, but... I've got a few little odds and ends to take care of, a few things to put back on it. After the move and sitting outside, the paint job needs touched up now. It's, it's funny, man, how fast shit falls apart when it just sits around and doesn't do anything. I hope the damn motors haven't seized up on it. 
they're electric motors. They should be all right, but you never know what's going to happen. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network on a Friday rock and roll. 41 in Portland, 50 in Misery, warm in Chicago. Look at that, 47. Man, not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty warm everywhere. It's uh, getting chilly outside, though. I got the fire going, so it's just about nice in here right now. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's very comfortable. Hope it stays that way. If it gets any warmer, though, I'll be stripping off to my thong. Not that you will see my thong. Well, let me go fire up the it. fire some more. Let me go stoke that bitch. I'll do some stoking I'll and I'll do some stroking. I'll be stripping <laughs> off to my... Uh... I'll stroke it to the east. Oi! I'll stroke it to the west. I, I stroke her in my bedroom where <laughs> I stroke best because I be stroking. I said I'll be stripping off to my RTM radio thong. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> exactly. You've never seen it, have you? <laughs> oh, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> nope, hard to see oh, that one. Oh, you're a bit slow there, husband. Uh, yeah, hard to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Well, Gary wants to hear some Highway to Hell, but first, we're going to do this. When I start making love... That's where Larry's going, the highway to hell. hell. I'll be stroking to the east and stroking to the west and stroking in my VW. That's where I stroke best. Larry's always stroking. (laughs) Do we get an extra star for that little comment, Larry? I never thought I'd seen anything like it in my life. Stroking in a VW, baby. Oh, Dave's changed his picture again. He looks like he's a he looks like a porn star on the front of that magazine, doesn't he? Who? Porn star Dave. Who? Where? What? Dave, look, look, he's changed his picture. Look. Where? There. What are you talking about? Look at his picture. Oh, over here. Yeah, click on it. Looks like it looks like he's on the front of a porn mag, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was taking a piss a bit. <laughs> he looks exactly like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> who's, Ron, who's Ron Jeremy? Are you si- Oh, yeah, you don't know anything about American porn. Look him up. He's that big, ugly fuck with a fat I better gut. not see his willy. If I see his willy, I might blush. Look Ron Jeremy up and then hit images. What a gross-looking shit. How did he ever get to become so friggin' popular? His dick ain't even that friggin' big. I tell you, if I, if I see one willy, I will be blushing. <laughs> 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 Told you he's an ugly fucker. I can't oh, believe fuck, it. Fuck, fuck Scroll it down. You better not show me. Scroll down. <laughs> Come on, you haven't even seen the funny shit yet. Go on, keep going. Where's that one that usually shows up of him? <laughs> That's the one right there. Seriously? What oh a my God. sick bastard. Wash my eyes out. I remember Barbara it's, Dare, though. There's some things you just can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's nasty. Yeah, I know, Darren. I don't get that shit, man. The dude is ugly, studly, dudly, my ass. His dick ain't even that freaking big. Jeez. Supposedly, he knows how to use it as the key to the whole thing, but whatever, man. (laughs) I never did find him very impressive. Every time I saw him banging some hot chick, I'd want to throw up. But whatever trips his trigger, you know what I mean? Whatever floats your boat, darlings. I guess. (laughs) <laughs> I did some stroking in a 69 Cadillac one time. There was plenty of room in that seat. There was enough room for five or six people back there. Did you make a mess? I don't know. Did you lick it up? I was like friggin' 18 years old. I can't even barely remember. Did you make the window screen all crusty? No, oh, I don't know. Oh, I did do that in Geneva one time. What? You made you made the windscreen made, crusty? Made it crusty? Not, well, made it fog up real bad. <laughs> Didn't make it crusty. (laughs) I'll tell you the story since it was so long ago. It was in 76, I think, 75, 76, somewhere. I was dating this girl from Geneva, and there was this place called North North Center Tavern, I think it was called, or North Star Tavern. How dare you date someone four years before I was born? Shut up. Four (laughs) years (laughs) before you were born. Yeah. (laughs) Had to let that sink in. And we parked in this place, and we were there like. A long time, like hours we were there. And it was after it closed. We went there like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And, uh, you know, we did the uh, backseat hustle there for a while and uh, then fell asleep. Left the car running, windows cracked, so we didn't, you know, die. But we woke up, the parking lot was empty, and there was friggin' two feet of snow out there. And I got this 68 Chevelle, that blue one, 
that you saw pictures of with these wide tires on the back, like worthless in the snow and shit, you know. And it got stuck in there. I had to wait till morning to dig it out because it couldn't. It was just a blizzard out there, and it's only like uh, I don't know a mile or two from Lake Erie. So the friggin' snow I belt you were snow tell was me just a funny story about, a story about you making making your windscreen I made it foggy. I didn't make it crusty. I couldn't. Oh well, you were just a spoil sport. Never could you? shoot a dead fire. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, knock him a point off for that one. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Oh, you're not even... See, I tried to tell an honest story, and that's what I get. So that's why I don't tell them. Was you just about to say you're not even funny? You know I'm funny. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Such a twat. <laughs> Bollocks. Yankee and the Brit, moving on. Kid Rock, you ain't never met a motherfucker like me, bitch. Yep. Silence! Dude, 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 just, just more to life than just you. <laughs> no, it's just your opinion. Uh, <laughs> Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network over here. Uh, what time is it anyways? 848. Well, we're doing a rock and roll thing on a Friday. I know, and there's me tinkering away still. Where's your request? Things. What was oh. it, hon? Tell me. Did I miss it? Do it now! I may have missed it somewhere along Randy the way. Randy has cake. I think it's cake. Look, yeah. I want Smurfette's request, then we'll talk cake. No, never mind Smurfette's request. <laughs> I want cake. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, okay, now you can sort out Smurfette. Uh, Gremlin stole my sound, dag nabbit. What is it, Smurfette? Come on, baby, pop it up there. Quick, hurry. Orgy. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting horny. All right, I'll have to go grab that one. But in the meantime... Let's do this. It's a twofer for Smurfette, Limp Biscuit, and Faith with the Yankee and the Brit. Stop! What the hell? This better be important. This is important. Larry says it's about time for my clock to go off. So. We're sat here waiting for Larry's clock. The song would have been done. There's still three minutes left before that clock goes off. This is 59 on my laptop. All right, time for the song then. Let's hope we don't I can't believe you did that shit. If I was (laughs) Smurfette, I'd hunt you down and kick your ass. She loves me too much. Well, that's certainly better than George Michael, i got to tell you that much. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, and our wondrous clock. Thank you, Larry. I love that clock. <laughs> Larry, you really need to take that clock back. The no. The bane of my life. And let me tell you, when I'm in the bed, um, that clock, I don't know whether it vibrates through the wall, but it is actually on the wall that... The same wall that separates the uh, living room, our bedroom, kitchen, all that all in one. And this little workshop in here. And uh, and it kind of like echoes through the wall. And it sounds like it's in bass speakers <laughs> in the other room. And that clock is loud Every enough. Every hour. Now that's hanging on an inside wall about two and a half, three feet from the outside wall. And when I'm outside, I can hear that clock go off. It's loud. Seriously, it's really loud. Yeah, some, yeah. When I when I'm outside with Randy and he's uh, and he's hammering away. I mean, anyway, you know when he's bang, not when he's banging away. I'm uh, <laughs> making it sound rude every time, aren't I? When he's drilling, no, not when he's drilling. When he's screwing, no, not when he's screwing. Everything I say sounds disgusting. Sawing. Tonight. When he's sawing. His wood. <laughs> no way around it, is there? No way around it. <laughs> Not for I. you. <laughs> anyway, when he's when he's working his wood in the garden, <coughs> I mean, when he's outside in the garden, um, we can hear Larry's clock. If Boxcar <laughs> Willie only knew how much fun I've had with that clock, he'd roll over in his <laughs> grave. <laughs> if Boxcar Willie only knew how much I want to stamp on that clock. He get might the, get out his grave and help me. Get out the Ouija board. Let's get a hold of Boxcar Willie and tell him what's going on over here. <laughs> I am pissed off with that clock. Oh, I love that clock. Yankee and the Brit and the RTM <laughs> Radio Network. Slipknot. Slipknot. 
Is there anywhere left in the country the speed limit's still 55? I would have to guess up New England states, Massachusetts, or somewhere like that. I know a lot of the two lanes in Ohio were still 55 when I left, but that was, what, eight years ago or so. But I can't imagine anybody still having a 55-mile-an-hour speed limit. John Rooney, baby. Does somebody mention poop? Yeah, we get to talk shit with John Rooney <laughs> in person. How whoop, cool whoop. is that? Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see you guys. And even if you're not going on the cruise, just come to the hotel. Just to Well, we're not going you. either, so you can stand there with yeah. us and wave goodbye to all the other <laughs> schmucks. Yeah. We could go, so long, suckers, while we walk away going. <laughs> I want to go, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just about the way it'll probably be, too. Live from the road 9 o'clock Eastern Time. It's going to be a party, that's for sure. I can't believe there's any place that still has a 55-mile-an-hour speed limit. What is wrong with you people? Seriously. Seriously? What are you talking about? The speed limit, 55. Oh, wow. Man, that's like the most boring, worthless, friggin' disastrous speed anybody could ever fucking post anywhere. Ever, ever. Bill Weaver, hey, y'all, what's up? Oh, this is Bill Weaver. How you doing? <laughs> don't, get me, don't get me laughing. Lovely like from Houston, Texas. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Howdy, Carol Ann. I sure miss you, honey. <laughs> oh, now that's the Brad that got the giggles over your rant over the waitresses not putting butter on your toast. Oh, and Brad's going to be there. I forgot all about Brad. Whoops, sorry. Not, not Brad James, uh, Bill's friend Brad. But oh. if you want a little bit of an update on that, guys, they still don't butter the toast, and Randy still has a right good go at him. Friggin', what are you talking about now? I'm missing something here. I remember me ranting about the way the girls can't butter the toast. They're stupid. Yeah, and the last time you was bitching about that, um, Bill... And his friend Brad was sitting in his lorry. Okay, yeah, 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 all well, right, I get it. Well, nothing much has changed since then. The girls in the restaurants, they still can't butter Randy's toast. But I think it's his own fault, you know, the way he speaks to them, you know. Um, he's a right arse to them sometimes. Who? So, you, you Well, really it's not like they don't deserve it. You know damn well I leave a tip for anybody that does a nice job and has a little sense of humor and treats me with right some friggin' respect. To them sometimes, so I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they spit on it and go, there's your butter. <laughs> I don't, uh, you know, I give what I get. You know, if you're nice and you come over and take care of me, I'm fine with all that. But don't be an asshole. You know, and if I ask you for something, do it. That's your friggin' job. That's what you get paid for. Rand Randy thought there was a woman, uh, a woman waitress hitting on me last week, didn't you? What happened? <laughs> you just I was reading, it. sorry. What? I says, you thought there was a woman hitting on me in Cracker Barrel last week. I think she was. She thought you were hot. That's because I am. That's because I am. Well, see, i got to watch that it's shit, man. I'm a hot piece of Britishness. Was that the one I left a $5 tip to? Yeah. Yeah, take her, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Here's five bucks. That's take my wife, did. please. Said, take her. <laughs> I don't get no respect. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, XM Radio. You know what? <sighs> XM used to be the best until Sirius took over. He just screwed that whole thing up. But that's just my opinion. Here I go again. We're only allowed to do 55 on the Houston Terminals parking lot. <laughs> With a tanker load of acid. Beautiful. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe it. And, John, why don't you do like we used to do in, like, seventh grade, man? Write that time and stuff down in the palm of your hand with your ink pen so you don't forget. You know how we used to cheat on tests? Then you just have to remember to look at your hand. Simples. John's always looking at his hand just before he grabs... Well, anyways. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Bill, get out of here. You're too much. So anyways, uh, yeah, big party. I hope it's as much fun as I hope it's going to be or something like that. I hope it turns out to be a lot of fun. That's what I'm saying. I'll I just be hiding under the table, you know, somewhere away from all the people. You're going to have to learn to intermingle, dear. I know. Do uh, you remember when we went to New Orleans and all these people were coming up to us and I was thinking, like, who are these people again? I, uh, I haven't, I'm out of the loop for so long now, you know. It's kind of weird for me to get back around a crowd and anything. It's hard for me to, uh, there was, there was, you know, I like to just sit back and, like, stay away from all of it. But last, I'll try to mingle in this time. Last year at New Orleans, you know, before we went, us. 
swore that I would look at people's profile pictures and stuff on Facebook, get a good idea of what they looked like so at least I knew who they were when they came up to me. Last year we walked out there and everybody was came over, can we take a picture? And they were like the flipping paparazzi out there. I never knew who half of them were until. And then sometimes no. you'd, you'd come back, I'd ask you later, who was that? And you'd say, oh, it was such, oh, yeah, I recognized the face from Facebook, but I didn't know who that was. The only person that we really recognized straight off was Mouth Almighty, because she's the mouth. <laughs> well, you could hear her clear <laughs> oh, across and, the... Uh... Oh, and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear her clear across the... Uh, the uh... Whatever that is, not the yeah, mezzanine. You what is like, that? Yeah, we could hear her in Texas. She was like, hey, come on, I'll be sat over in that corner table hey, next to the swimming the pool. Grip. Come Me on here. Me in nine hours. <laughs> she ran over my foot with her chair, too, once, I think. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> I'm only serious. She's not here to defend herself right now, is she? Absolutely not. No, she's probably watching that stupid show. TV Yeah, and she's got, they've got like a double whammy bummy. Thingy. Smurfette, we've always planned a cruise, but, uh, you know, until uh, we get things straightened out with a lot of other issues, we can't go anywhere, so. Boy, have we got issues. Long story short, we can't go anywhere until we straighten out a few issues, so. You know, nothing bad, it's just stuff that has to be taken care of in respect to Donna being here, so. We get all that all done, we're uh, we're definitely going to hit up for a cruise. That's, uh, I, you know, everybody in my family's taking one but me, and I feel left out. Oh, he's always going to doing things about By the time we finally get around to doing it, everybody will have lost interest in it. And Dave will be like, no one wants to cruise anymore. No, Dave will be doing it, but it'll be a whole new pack of people by then. Yeah. Yeah, sir. If I'm a, if I'm a bit antisocial, it's just because that's what I'm naturally like. I'm happy about me, behind me computer. Definitely. Is that supposed to be XM radio, Darren's being turned off next month? Or is that just your country music radio being turned off? Not me and KC what? You're not planning on future cruises? Oh, she's probably like, I'm not planning on uh, losing interest in cruising. I'd like to go on the one with Bill or Lance or, you know, Mr. Salmon Hanger, but... Uh, You're just greasy. You greedy. You want to go on all three. Well, you know, I'd go on all three, I think. I must be the only one who doesn't want to go on a cruise. Come on, you can't be that droll. Well, Seriously. Well, Nickers in the UK says he doesn't want to ever go on a cruise. He doesn't like the idea of being being on a cruise ship and being restricted. But, you know, I personally think that you've got more freedom actually on a cruise ship. Um, you know, like when you're when you're like on a, on a holiday resort, you know, like when I went to Turkey in the holiday resort there, um, you know, was pre pretty much restricted to the actual resort itself, mainly because everything around it was so far away. I mean, we did step out of the site for a bit, to, went to Fetier in a few places, but everywhere was so far away that we did feel like we was restricted to, um, to the resort itself. Whereas if you're on a cruise ship, you know, you get to spend time on the cruise ship with these people, all your friends that you've made, and then you get to stop off at different places and go off for a wander. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's cool, and you get to stop off at quite a few different places. I couldn't Some agree of them more, in a Darren. Different country. I couldn't agree more. Um, yeah, XM isn't the same. It's nothing like it was before. Sirius got a hold of it, and I just wasn't impressed. That's why I got rid of it. Um, you know, Cinnamon had turned me on to that, and uh, it was great, man. I got to listen to all these cool old radio stories and all this kind of cool shit and. Uh, 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 I can't even think of the name of it now. Country music, um, alternative country music. I got into. That's how I learned about Ray Wiley and uh, and uh, Mississippi or uh, Hank Three and a bunch of other ones. You know, uh, cross country rag, Canadian cross country ragweed and things like that. And you know, that all that all, all that shit went to hell in a handbasket. So uh, you know, I don't need it. And yeah, why pay for it when you can go online and get things? You can go on YouTube and set it on autoplay and pick the songs you want and listen to them. So why uh? Why fool around with all that stuff? Crazy. Hi, Samantha. What's going on? Nice to see you. Brad. Brad Carlisle. What's going on, mister? Hey. Brad's up in the house with Bill Weaver. Come on back. Yeah, Raji Tinfo. Does, uh, does your friend Brad talk as weird as you then, Bill? Yeah, see? Carol Ann's got it. Anybody actually understand them? What? What if you get really pissed at someone on a cruise and you're stuck on a boat and can't leave? Well, apparently they're about the size of a football pitch, so if you get 
pissed off with them, fling them overboard, and you carry on with your day. My whole thing is, what? I'm going to go nuts because I like to do things. I like to keep busy. I am not one for sitting still, you know, unless I'm no, sleeping. No, me neither. You know, that's the only thing. It's like, you know, because I'd mentioned that to Dave quite a while ago, and it's like, uh, what the hell am I going to do? You know, I can't bring the things with me I'd like to do. I mean... You guys load my train on there so I can work on that while I'm out at sea for seven days or something? I just can't. It's probably drive me nuts, but I'd be willing to try it once. I mean, if I, you know, because I'm not a partier like I used to be. I mean, I might, maybe, might, maybe could be returned to one. <laughs> Who knows? But uh... Randy, in all the time he's known me, he's never known me to just sit back on a chair and just sit and do nothing. I'm she can't always... even take a friggin' nap with me. I go, let's go take a nap. I go take a nap in like two minutes, and she's like, I can't lay here anymore. And she gets up and comes back to work. It's like, okay, whatever, man, I'm having yeah. a nap. Always, always, always tinkering. I just do not sit still for five minutes. Sam's in bed, man. She's slamming the pee-pee. Is that what she said? No. She's laying in bed with pee-pee. I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> Shame on me. Anyways, uh... Well, you say there's so many things to do on a ship, but is that the kind of things I like to do? That's the thing, you know. Like, is there a wood shop where I can go in there and, like, make things? Or, you know, is there, uh, <laughs> is there a mechanic's place where I can go in there and use tools and take a motor apart and put it back together or something? Anywhere he can go and play with his wood, in other words. Yeah, well, I like playing with my wood. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And I like to build buildings, too. Yeah. But I like, you know, things like that. This, this is not that kind of thing. They, they should have something. I think that would be cool as hell to go on a cruise and have a wood shop where guys can cut their fingers off and get their shirt caught in a lathe and God knows what else. It's certainly entertaining. Anyways. Uh, Better than listening for Brad James's whistle. <laughs> Pee-pee wish he was slamming it. <laughs> well, I guess what I said isn't half as bad then, is it? Oh, my goodness. I think we need some more rock and roll over here. Let's try some Eddie Money, man. Bill says, every time Brad ends a sentence, he says, Botches. All right, do you want to Jizz. put that in some kind of English? Is, um, that, bi is that Bill Weaver language you're talking there, Could be Brad? Mexican. <coughs> John says he don't like water that much. Went on a cruise to the Bahamas and went through a storm. Eh, well, yeah, that'd probably make you a little queasy, wouldn't it? He wanted to throw KC overboard. Yeah, I saw that video. That's just, how I relax, just didn't Larry. Pick him up by the legs and topple him over, though, did he? That's how I relax, man. I go out, you know, when I'm not in here doing signs and shirts and all that stuff. I go outside and I tinker, build on my building, and work on the train, and you know, trying to keep the yard cleaned up because I make as big a mess as I clean up. I clean one up and make another one, and you know, trying to get this place organized eventually. Since I've been here, you know, when the building's done, I can hide all my garbage in there. But that's what I do. That's how I relax, man. I like to build things, tinker with things. Uh, with the cold weather, you know, we've been working inside of here. I'm starting to get some things done, painted the cupboards and some doors and uh, trying to uh, get some stuff stained and finished. I mean, that's that's my relaxation. That's what I like to do. You know, I used to, uh, when I was younger, I used to like to work on my co my uh, hot rods, my cars and stuff. But, you know, that's all gone. I don't have the money for that kind of thing anymore. But uh, Bill likes puppies. Double Ds, <laughs> those are some nice puppies. I used to work at this place, you know, years ago, and this man always used to call You had a job? Say, this man used to say, um, come and show me your puppies. <laughs> he used to call up and say, come and show me your puppies. Did you? No, I did not. <laughs> I'm, I'm a respectable girl, don't you know? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because I love you so much. <laughs> That's what. Okay, where was I? Let's do this, please. Eddie Money, give me some water. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, 9.30 on a Friday night. Bon Jovi in the blaze of glory by request from the wonderful Carol Ann. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. That about does it for tonight. We be gone, baby. All done. We are out of here. I'm going to crash and burn. Oh, yeah. Big time. Of course, you've had me up all day. I got, what, like a 15-minute nap? Five-minute nap? Oh, you're going to be up for a few more hours yet, mister, if I've got anything to do with it. Well, you don't. So sorry. Go to sleep. Slipped, oh. you, a, slipped you a blue pill. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't need no damn blue pill, Ethel. Get out of here. Scrape for your eyes. It makes you look odd. I see. I see how it works. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you got over here now? She just said, bang. What kind of crap is this you're posting over here? Tim Muse? was talking about Muse. Oh. oh, these guys are awesome. Well, we don't have time to be amused by Muse. Well, you should have just let it. So, anyways, thank you guys a million. Thanks, John, for stopping by in the last few minutes. <laughs> yeah, the last two minutes, John Rooney. I know. He's going to show up in Florida when we're driving, getting ready to drive out of the parking lot to come home. Yes. Like, Better show up before bye, that, son. Bye, bye. That'll be. Of course, Mr. Bill. Come back tomorrow. We'll be jamming your tunes, of course. How many times have I played that song while we've been working over here? Oh, my gosh. And... The first chance that he got uh, after you sent over the uh, music the other night. He I've been was singing it ever since. The first ten it. times Donna was okay with it. it. Was the next ten she really had started having issues with it? <laughs> Can't you play something else? Oh, I know. <laughs> so I played a Lance song, then I came back and played some more Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he did though. He loaded up that music as soon as we got off. Uh, as soon as we got off Facebook. Um, he was bloody belting it out on his computer and singing it along too. Yeah, tomorrow Bill night's country Weaver. night. Come on over here and have some country music. Lots of it. We love our country night just as much as we like our rock. Love the rock, but tomorrow, trucker night. And tonight, uh, Howard Salmon, just before you guys all showed up, Howard Salmon called us. We actually uh, we actually sent a stupid video to his phone about, uh, about what was we doing? Uh, what was we doing? Jamming, had our, we had jam, our salmon out. Yeah, jamming with our salmon out. That <laughs> so was we, it. So we sent a video to uh, to Howard, so he called in, and then he was like, oh, shit, shit I'm on the show. <laughs> we got to get out of here. A few seconds left. Love you guys. Thanks a billion. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, Smurfette said to send her that link because she can't I get it on her phone. I am doing it right now. All right. We love you guys. Hasta luego, everybody. Team Rant, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee, the Yankee and the, the Brit. Brit. The Yankee, Yankee and the, the Brit. Brit. One is a genius. The other's a twit. Yep. Yankee and the Brit. The Yankee and the Brit. One is a genius. The other's a twit. Yep. On the radio. The beans have been spiced. The Yankee. The Yankee and the Brit. 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 Before the show is done, the killing will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brits. The Yankee and the Brits. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Don't.